Hello everyone, my name is Saud Al Mishari and today I'll be talking about steam turbine compressors. Have you ever heard about this equipment? Do you know what does it do in the factories? Well, steam turbine compressors are one of the most interesting machines that I have ever worked with. This type of compressor first appeared in 1884 after being invented by Sir Charles Pearson. The steam turbine compressor is a type of heat engine that takes advantage of multiple stages to convert high pressure steam into work and condensed water. In the steam turbine, energy is converted into mechanical work from the expansion of high pressure steam. As the steam expands, plates connected to a shaft rotate. These plates vary in the size with the largest closest to the high pressure steam inlet. This allows for maximum energy transfer from the steam expansion. As the steam moves through the casing of the turbine, the energy is removed and the fins become smaller and easier to rotate. Moreover, the inlet steam enters at high velocity and strikes the moving plates. The high pressure and velocity of the steam enhance the efficiency of the steam because they are forcing the turbine in the same direction. Steam turbines range from 0.75 kW to 1,500,000 kW which can be utilized for different purposes and produce high pressure gases or electricity that is used in different sectors, homes and offices. Gas turbines are commonly used today in aerospace, power generation and many more. The steam turbine and compressor setup consists of a shaft and rotating plates to capture the energy from the steam. This simplicity ensures that the maintenance is low cost and easy. This equipment can be converted to produce electricity by transferring the work from the steam to a generator rather than a compressor. The dual functionality of this process allows for cost-effective changes to plant production. According to industry representatives, the decision to select steam turbine versus AC motors with electronic adjustable sweet dries for rotary equipment is, for the most part, economically based. For example, dependent upon the relative cost for steam production versus the purchase price for electricity. Other considerations include fuel and electrical energy costs, steam availability, and steam pressure and quality. Steam turbines act as a steam engines that convert heat energy into mechanical energy. Steam turbines extract thermal energy from the steam at extremely high pressure. Due to its rotary motion, the steam turbine can be used to derive motors for electricity generation. Steam turbines contain various stages arranged in a sequence in a casing. The steam goes through each stage, expands, and transfers energy to the shaft by turning plates of the turbine. The steam turbine operates under the principle of thermodynamic efficiency. I hope you enjoyed my presentation, and if you have any question, I will be happy to answer. Thank you.